So I'm here at the Marco Paulus Clinic, which is in Aydas Arena in Portugal. And uh, as you can see, there's another big waiting room. There's actually only like uh, six, six seats here. And uh, it's always full about, he says, about over 200 people a day. Uh, and I'm witnessing this here. I was waiting for Marco now. Since one hour, he has not even had time to to see me. <laughs> he is one after another, starting from 10 in the morning, 9, 10 in the morning, until 10 at night. Uh, but at least he makes one one day a week. And Wednesday, he's, he's taking off. So it's four days a week. Or every day about 200 people, and uh, so you see this, this sign over there. Um, it's basically uh, his logo for his clinic. The clinic name is Quattro and uh, let me show this again. I like it very much because you see it's a yin yang sign, but you see one on one hand, the really this line in the middle is a is a sign is for electricity for the signals we use. But it goes outside the circle, so really, that's why I think just the true nature of healing. You have to go outside of the circle, you have to be uh, changing your world in order to heal. Uh, so everyone is in a, in a, in a sphere, in a, in, a, in a circle. And when the circle becomes too much a prison, then sickness has to come to create the impulse to go outside of the circle. So this is a wonderful, a wonderful um, symbol for healing. So. so you wanted to say what you're actually doing here. She just came three days ago. And so what's your job now? Now, because uh, Marco is running around and doing lots of work here, where you can see the people are waiting for him. Huh. I have some patients in Croatia, so I'm recording my frequencies. A little louder, louder. I'm recording my frequencies for them, so... So what I means you record the frequencies? From what? From where do you record the frequencies? I do the... From the single frequency therapy or the, for the frequency therapy, I evaluate see what's the most important for them. Uh -huh. Because I have history of working with them and now we are just continuing oh, okay. the therapy while I'm away for days. So I record them so you, 20 minutes or 30 what they need. Ah, okay, so you do an evaluation with the core system uh, yes, I do. And, and then you do the, the top what, 10 or 20 frequencies, you make a, you make a recording yes. of this. And then you put it on a stick or how do you... No, I just um, open in the documents uh -huh. and then uh, client data and then I get the score yeah. and I see what's the newest frequency I record and then I apply like, um, what's the name? You, you um, apply this? I attach in the mail and I send by email to the patients. Uh, to, to you send, and then what do they do at home? They, they listen to it? They listen to it on the... Uh, ah, with the headphones. Ah, okay. So, interesting. Because, you know, I don't really know what, what, what uh, Marco is all doing here. And you, you have actually a core system yourself, yes? And in, in Croatia, and now you, you're here a second time, and you want to learn a little more after you met Marco in the in the seminars. Yes. So, uh, is this very different here? How he he's doing things, or how you how you were doing it? Yes, it's it's a little bit different, but um, I was um, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, in the beginning I was uh, doing some kind of my way, you know. Uh -huh. and now he showed me the his way of working also. Uh -huh. So I want to combine or to to, to choose to, to use the best. So. Mm -hmm. so until now you you did not evaluate anyone on on the youth because also you 
here's a problem with the language now the language you cannot directly work with people because most don't speak speak enough English now. so you are you're more in the background doing things mm, I don't understand now what no, you, well you you cannot deal with the people directly because they mostly only speak Portuguese yes, uh, that's yes, that's uh, very good okay so later we'll see more more in the back what you're doing. You're the manager for the days so what's your what's your job here in the uh, I receive the, the people. Uh, we usually do three rooms at a time, each half an hour. Uh -huh. uh, so per hour I see around six people whole day. Oof. At the end of the day I see about sixty people or near it. So when do you event. start in the morning? I start at nine and nine o'clock. And the clock goes until what time? Uh, usually we will have lunch at 2 p.m. or so, sometimes 2 and a half, uh -huh. uh, if we get a little bit late. Mm -hmm. And then we end at 8, 8 to 9 p.m. Uh -huh. It depends on the day. And but so that means like like six people per hour because three rooms of laser, each yeah. one half an hour. Half an hour. And so how often do this do they come again? Like, I mean, I you know it's not uh -huh. for everyone the same, but yeah. is decision or how, how do they decide? Usually it uh, depends. Uh, it can go both ways. Usually Mark would, uh, or the, the person who does core with them usually tries to schedule uh, and we usually do two or three lasers, one core. We try to maintain a certain ratio. Uh, but there are person, uh, people who, are, who have more problems with uh, the nervous system. Mm -hmm. Usually they do a little bit more of, uh, of bio laser. Mm -hmm. and, uh, those usually do like four times or so. Four times a week? Before. No, 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 depends. Yeah. Four, four and then one, uh, one core. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And, and four then, laser and then yeah. one core and radiation. Some people come every day, it depends, it's, it's rare, uh -huh. but usually at least once a week they uh -huh. do uh, a bio laser, uh -huh. but also depends on the, the, uh, the person's schedule. Yeah. But usually, yeah, once a week they, they can do a bio laser, yes. and uh, the following week after doing two or three of these, they do one uh, one core. You see, I can see there's a lot of dust already. Look at this yeah, dust. Yeah, our, our cleaning lady doesn't, doesn't <laughs> so, touch the machine. If you see yes, she doesn't touch the machine, she's probably not a, uh, made to touch the machine, but it shows, it's, it has a lot of action. And uh, what what do you think, or what was for you most interesting comment somebody made after, um, after laser treatment? Uh, most people feel a difference about sleeping disorders. Mm -hmm. That's the, the most common thing. They usually say that they start to sleep a lot better after mm -hmm. one to three sessions, it depends on the, on the mm -hmm. case. Mm -hmm. But that's the common denominator, I would say, yes. the sleeping disorders. And they, they feel more calm, with more energy. Mm -hmm. Usually everything is more connected to the, to the nervous system mm -hmm. when they do biolaser. At least the comments you receive are are indicating that. Yeah, because also I can see here you have always the same setup and you don't change the setup. The no, same. yeah, I use this so, so you also don't use the, the glasses for yeah. example. So I just want to, because this is really tested, imagine six people an hour so we can we know this is certainly one of the right ways to do it. Just, just maybe you can explain how you set this up. Yeah, well, uh, I use Two of these cylinders that, in my opinion, are, are the best because, like I explained to you before, they are very resilient mm. uh, with these connectors. So uh -huh. a person can have this comfortable in their hands and yes. pull it around and move it if the, if if needed. Yeah. And I use one foot plate for both both feet. Both this, feet. Yeah, a person can put one one foot or both. Uh, this is more. This is practical if a person has, a, has an injury in one of the of. Of his foot, that's okay. You can only use one. Yeah. Uh, any part of the body would uh, would actually do it. Uh, but uh, I use the the feet. Mm -hmm. the, the foot plate is always connected down here on the the bio field. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cylinders, these two connectors, are always connected on channel one and reference. Ah uh, yes, and so it's here. It's also it's on in homeopathic off and. Yeah, yeah, usually yes. And here both on the, on the very lowest. Yeah. And then the to connect, there's a there's a difference, uh, and the calibrations vary a, a little bit depending yeah. on the person. There are people who are more sensitive than yes. than others, but yeah, basically 
I turn this on to 100 uh -huh. and after the 100 I calibrate here on these and usually most people start feeling and this is the uh, the common dominator for most people it's like two and a half here and 50 percent this is uh, what most people receive in the first treatment mm -hmm. um, unless the, the person is uh, is not very sensitive at all then I have to turn it up uh, a little bit but uh, usually yeah on the new on the new cores on the new cores I can, uh, they are better because they have the they allow me to calibrate it to high and extra high uh -huh. so so that if I, we have that option let, let me hold it and oh, okay. see what what, you, what you what you see actually there basically so you, basically first I, I notify the person uh, that she will feel a little a little impulse in yes. the beginning it's like one second to a tops and then it will it should pass yeah. Oof, yeah. <laughs> now you won't, you won't feel anything at all yeah, okay. uh, before i calibrate here uh -huh. now usually on two depending on the person you will start thingling in your hand about here or yeah. at the start of the wrist yes because uh, now i like saw you, now you turn it up to 100, 100. That's, that's that's important because i saw it before mm -hmm. it's hardly now what you would feel. So you put this on 100 and now you turn it on. Two up. and a half you should be feeling yeah, at the beginning yes. of your wrist. And then right? I exactly like I feel this here. Yeah. This is the this should do or indicate 3 volts. It's not real 3 volts uh -huh. but yeah it's not dangerous and it doesn't burn. Uh, now depending on the person you can put it a little bit higher. Usually when the, when the people complete three sessions I, I feel that I should turn it up a little bit yeah. because uh, people usually ask a little bit more so I try to calibrate to three and uh -huh. a half or four but uh, I try to to, uh -huh. to see the person's sensibility is different so for children I, I try to, to use a two and a half three at tops yes. uh, because children usually are, are very sensitive yeah. uh, so I won't go higher than a three uh -huh. probably but uh, for adults yeah, and old people uh, uh, or people who work, who work in the field and who have callous hands yeah. usually they don't have uh, enough sensitive for, for this calibration so I have to put it higher uh -huh. that's where the, the new lasers are better because they, they let me to intensify to high and extra high uh -huh. using this, ca this same system yeah. and uh, it allows me more flexibility Yes. That the, this one, it's the first one, the yeah, old one, yeah, yeah. Uh, doesn't allow. If I want to put a little bit more stronger, I usually use allopathic mode. Uh -huh. Allopathic usually give it uh, a little boost in at least in terms of sensitivity. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I usually do sessions of 25 to 30 minutes uh -huh. and call it a day, uh -huh. usually, and then the person usually comes back in the next week. Very good, very good. And then now. This one is now used used for like how long? For example, this one, this this because oh, this, yes, is the been first, used. this is the the one you the first, gave to Marco. Yeah, That's this, the first one, yeah. And this is uh, how Let me see. I started in the old clinic like three and a half years ago. Mention three and a half years. So this shows something like that. This I shows that this is probably the most tested device. Three and a half years, and then it's on. Every day from nine till nine, yeah, so, so it's about twelve. Yes, I, gave, I think you gave to him in Iceland. Yeah, I gave to him in Iceland. This yeah, was it was July two thousand. So it was about three years ago, between three yeah. and four years ago. So four this years the time ago, I started working or working with like. I imagine four years, and that's almost daily for twelve hours, and then. That yeah, works well, a lot. The, it, it, so it, it's German uh, German uh, quality, so thank you to Germany, thank you. <laughs> okay, so now uh, it's quarter two, I want to set up a few things here, and then um, thank you for, for no explaining problem. all this. Eventually I will have to go to a target okay. people if you don't mind, okay? Thank you. No thank problem. You.